Hello. Today we're going to talk about the belt squat. What are the things that we're going to do with the belt squat? First, we have our G strength unit mounted to our handy dandy squat rack. You can use a strap if you need. Uh, you can even use things like this, right? But we like having them bolted to something fixed so it doesn't flop around and doesn't break. The belt squat, right? So maybe you want to assess without grip strength how strong your lower extremities are. And so you have something similar to this from amazing companies out there that you can use. So you take this, wrap it around. We're using a tie down strap rated with a brake strength of 1500 pounds. If you can pull anywhere close to that, don't use a tie down strap rated for 1500 pounds potentially use the chain. I just don't like how the chain feels. Uh, it's personal preference, but then, right, we're gonna do bilateral stance. We take the clip carabiner and we go down and hook it in. Now you may say, whoa, how do you know what angle you're at? The great thing about using the tie down strap is that you can now cinch this and put your athlete into position. So here I am, I have no idea what it is. I didn't bring my goniometer, but you can stand in this position and in three, two, one. The try hard face is what we call it. And the great thing about the strap is I can pull this or come up out of it to give my legs a little bit of rest. That's how you would set up for the belt squat. Please check out the guide for all the other testing parameters that you need to follow, that you should follow. That way you know where the athlete should be, coaches should be, how to cue, how to set people up, and a little bit more specific detail. But we wanted to give you just a visual aid to help you understand how to set up for the belt squat. This is the belt squat using the G-strength. See ya!